Hello family, I'm going to make a quick dish that everybody in Trinidad and even if you're not from Trinidad, once you taste this dish, you're hooked. Easy, quick, chana nan. Let's get started. Alright, first is the star of the show. My aloo. I have a little pepper here I'm going to be floating on the top. If you look closely, usually the general rule is make sure everything that you've chopped up to cook is the same size. But I have some of them that are big and some of them that are little. And the reason I did that is because I like my chana and aloo to have a little bit of substance. I like the sauce to be slightly thick. So I figure by the time these are cooked, these little ones will be melted and I'll have a nice consistency. The next component to chana and aloo is the chana. Right here I'm using one can of chana just because it's easier and more convenient. Here I have what's called a bouquet gani, is some bandania and a couple sprigs of thyme, you see here. I tie it up with a piece of foil so that I can pull it out of the dish after and not have my dish discolored. That said, here I am discoloring my dish because I blended up my garlic <laughs> after I blended up some mandania, so it has some green specks in here. In here, I have four uh, grains of, you know, de decent-sized garlic. The next thing we have here is some Trinidad curry, curry powder, and lastly, some hardy, okay? I have my pot here, and what I'm going to do is get some oil in it, heat it up, and we'll get rocking and rolling. Alright, so since I'm getting old, I cannot recall whether or not I said how much aloe I had there, and it's roughly about three cups. Of course, it's not a precise measurement just because the aloes are in the aloe is in chunks and there are spaces between and all that but roughly about three cups okay all right so my oil is hot I'm going in with my garlic stir this around Then I'm going to go in one time with my curry. I would say that's about two tablespoons because I'm using a really small, small spoon to dish it out. And I'm going to go in here with about a teaspoon of hardy. So what I'm going to do is allow this to saute slowly just so that the curry releases all of its wonderful flavor. Slowly, slowly we're going to do this. Okay. And then we'll come back. Alright, I'm adding a little bit of hot water here just to make sure that the curry cooks through nicely and it doesn't taste raw once we start assembling the dish. We we'll let this go again for another couple of minutes. Alright, this looks quite good. So I'm going to go in now with my chana and my aloo. In goes my chana. Let me give this a mix. Okay, so we have some really nice color going on there. That's awesome. Alright. Now I'm going to put in my bouquet gani, my pepper. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black pepper. Not much. And you know me, I put 
maggi and everything. I'm going there with about a tablespoon and a half. Alright. Okay, so now I'm just going to add my hot water. To almost cover the aloo. You will still want to see a little bit peeking out. Okay. And we're gonna bring that up to a boil, cover it, and let it uh, cook until the aloo softens and comes to the consistency that we like. I would say that that's gonna take about um, 20 to 25 minutes. So let me bring this up to a boil, I'll cover it, and then we'll come back. It's been about five minutes and our aloo smoking out the neighbors. They must be vexed. They can't get none. Um, this need to go again for a little bit more. I'll come back when um, it's all done and give it a taste. All right, look at this aloo. Fantastic. Nice consistency in the sauce. Now I can pull out my bouquet garni. You know, I like when I make a dish, people taste the flavor, but they don't always have to see the ingredients. So I take that off. Let me plate this up and come back and taste it. Okay, here is our final dish. Time to sample the merchandise. Let's see here. Let me make sure I get a little bit of aloo and Shana on this bike. Ooh, the Texas heat gets into my boy. All right, here we go. Oh God. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that tastes so good. Delicious. I challenge you to try it. I challenge you to find and more tasty. Chana and Alu. Do the damn thing. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Come back again when I'll make another recipe. Bye bye.